I'm going to be turning these into these. What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be tie-dyeing some socks. But before I get started, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell so that way you never miss a new video. So today I'm going to be tie-dyeing three different socks or in three different colors. So it's just a blue one, a pink one, and a yellow one. So I am pretty happy with these results, so I am excited to share this video with you guys because I wanted to show how I did them and it was pretty simple and easy. There wasn't a lot of work that needed to be done to make these. So today I'm going to be using these white Nike... <laughs> so today I'm just going to be using these white Nike socks and you can use any sock that you have. You don't have to use a Nike sock, but these are just the ones that I had. So I'm going to be doing three different colors and you can do as many as you want or as little as you want, but I just chose to do three. So for the tie-dye, I actually got a tie-dye kit and you don't need to get a tie-dye kit, you can get whatever tie-dye that you want to use, but there wasn't a lot of options at the store. So I got this from Walmart and this was like the only one, so it was pricier than I thought it would be. This was about, I think $19, it was like 18 something. When you get a kit, you'll have everything in it and then you don't need to buy separate things. The only other thing I think I'm going to use is like garbage bags and maybe Ziploc bags. So this is definitely a good option if you want to get everything in one pack. Here I'm just laying out all of the supplies that I need for the tie-dyeing. And I put a piece of cardboard on the bottom so that way I didn't get anything on the table. And then here I am just going to mix some of the blue into the red because I want to make some pink socks and the pack didn't come with any pink. So this I just looked up online that maybe this would make it a little bit pinker and it did so I was really happy about that. And then I'm just going to be adding some water, that's what it says on the pack to create the tie dye and then we're going to use this on the socks. here I'm just dipping the sock in the cold water and this is going to help when I tie the rubber bands to make the design stay a little bit easier. And then once I finish dipping the sock in the water, I'm going to be using the rubber bands to tie some of the design in it. And this is where you're going to get the tie-dye design. So it's really important, I feel like it's easier when you have more crinkles in the sock. There isn't really a specific way to tie the rubber bands on the sock. It's really just your personal preference and kind of just like trial and error just to see what works the best. But I feel like the crinkles really do help and that means that more of it's going to stay white and then some of it will be the color so then you'll get a better tie-dye look. And then I'm just going to repeat this for all of the other five different socks. So once I finished tying all of the rubber bands on the socks, I'm going to be putting on my gloves and I'm going to start tie-dyeing. So basically I'm just putting the tie-dye wherever I feel like. I'm not really using any sort of method, I'm just kind of putting them wherever. And I feel like I might have put a little bit too much on some of them. I don't know when I'm tie-dyeing, it feels like you want to put the whole bottle on it, but just kind of leave a little bit of white and I feel like if you like the whiter look with the tie-dye, then that would come out a little bit better. And then once I finish tie-dyeing the sock, I'm going to be placing the sock into its own Ziploc bag and this way it doesn't spill on any of the tie-dye to a different sock. And then I'm just going to repeat this for the other socks in the other different colors. I 
actually let this sit for 24 hours a full day overnight and this I really wanted to make sure that the tie dye like soaked onto the sock so I left it for a pretty long time you don't have to do 24 hours but I did I'm just gonna take them out of the Ziploc bag and then I'm gonna be rinsing it with cold water and when you rinse it with cold water make sure that you leave the rubber bands on so that way you don't mess up any of the designs within But then when you get some of the dye out, you can take off the rubber bands and then you can rinse it as well without the rubber bands if you would like. So once you get all of the excess water out, I'm going to be placing it in the washer. And I just washed on a quick rinse, so it was about 15 minutes. Once it's done washing, I did put it then into the dryer and I also did a speed dry as well. I actually washed them together, like a pair together. I didn't do one individual, but you can do whatever you would like. Uh, it didn't mess up the design for mine, but I just did each color separately. So here they are now after the dryer, and they actually look a lot better than I thought. So overall, I am really happy with the results at first. I wasn't sure how the blue one was going to turn out because I couldn't see the Nike sign when I first took the rubber bands off of the sock, but after I washed it and dried it, it actually was a lot lighter than before, so I am really happy with these results, and I feel like I'm really happy that it came out pink and not red. So I am really excited with these results, and it was really fun to make, so if you guys try these out, make sure to comment down below or tag me on Instagram and show me your results. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next video.